drink. Um, yes, I think they can spare me for two minutes. No college for them. No, half day for a vision. I'm going to go and see some state agencies start to fix some flats. Oh, I thought you loved it on the boat. Yeah, I did, but no hot water and this clay on a health kick. Mm, you've had enough. But have you told Claire you're moving out? No, not yet. Mm. It's going to cause a scene. I've had enough of those in the last 24 hours. Mm. Oh, you haven't heard of me. Grandma and Grandpa are getting a divorce. No. Yeah, they told us at the house last night. Mum's really upset. I'm not surprised. Oh, I feel terrible now. Why? It's not your fault. No, I know, but if I'd known, I would have picked a different week to you know, make my announcement. I'm just... Oh! Uh, Tim, Duncan. Oh, come on over. No, I'm working. Hey, come on, you said so yourself. I could stay for a couple of minutes. Come on. Looks like we've got company. Hiya, Tim. Looking good? Yeah, he always does. That's why I hate drinking with him. He always pulls in with me before I get yeah. looking. Who says? Um, that was telling me about Grandma and Grandpa. Yeah, I know. It's a shame, isn't it? Hey, did um, Mel tell you about Tim's panto costume? Oh, yeah, yeah. I heard that it's so sexy that they have got block bookings for her nights. <laughs> Leave that up, Mel. No, I'm really proud of you. Getting involved, not many people have time for that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm proud of you too, you know. Doing your bit and that. Uh-huh, yeah. You're a real star, don't you think, Holly? I think I'd better get back to work. And I think you two should audition for the pants after that little performance you walk here. Hi, how's it going? Good. Just picked up my traveller's chair. <gasps> this time tomorrow morning I'll be in Grand Canaria soaking up the sun. Oh, you lucky thing. Oh, I can't wait for the adios to show on anyway. So, uh, what are you doing here? Oh, Holly's got me chasing after balloons and decorations, you know, for the gay night. Ah, uh, got you on a tight leash, has she? How do you mean? Well, it seems like she wears the trousers in your relationship. <laughs> what relationship? Ah, oh, there you are. <laughs> Grandma, don't often see you here. <laughs> These sort of drinking establishments are not really for me. <laughs> How are you? I'm sorry to hear about the divorce. Oh, don't feel there's no need to be upset. Although I understand your mother is harder hit than we'd anticipated. Yeah, so I've heard. Then anyway, I can get you something. Tea, coffee, or gin and tonic? No, thank you, dear. I'm not on a social visit. I've, um, I've come to make a request. Oh, yeah? What can I do? Well, I want you to cancel tonight's, um, theme night. You mean the gay disco? Well, whatever you like to call it. I, I feel it is my duty pr to protest against such an open display of immorality. Then you'd better go back to the Stone Age. Don't use that tone with me, young woman. I'm your grandmother, after all. <laughs> oh, I see. So I should automatically respect you, then, should I? Holly, you're overreacting. Those people have places that they can socialise. <laughs> and I think you're setting a bad example to Jamie with this company you're keeping. Oh, I don't believe I'm hearing this. You're just as prejudiced as the rest of them. Those sort of people are nothing short of misfits. Uh, I, I think you should leave. I, I don't have the time or the patience to listen to your outdated views. I think you'll find I'm in the majority. Yes, and that is exactly the problem. As long as there are people like you spouting your narrow-minded ideas, there will never be any freedom for gays to live their own lives. You're making a big mistake. No, the only mistake I ever made was voting you into office. Thank you. <laughs> Hi. You've got yourself an admirer, yeah, then? it's not funny, okay? It's only looking. You do it to girls all the time. But this is different. How? Oh, it's different because he's a bloke. What do you think? I think it's perfectly natural for him to think you're available. You are in a gay bar, after all. Oh, is that good news? I hadn't noticed. To make matters worse, I'm slowly getting very drunk with Mum. Well, let's see. Now, where is she? Oh, well, she's over there, sitting on the balcony. Oh, she was a minute ago. No, there she is. Oh, on the dance floor. <laughs> Oh, no. Well, well, we've got to do something. She doesn't know what she's getting into. Of course she does. Mum is a big girl now. Leave her to it. She's having a good time. Oh, this is turning into a very bad drink. <laughs> is it me or am I getting stared at? <laughs> yes, you're getting stared at. Well, I don't like it. It makes me feel uncomfortable. You'll be all right. Do you want a drink? Uh, yeah, uh, a beer, please. Oh, it's a good battery drink. That's what we always have. It's a real man's drink, that's all right. Leave it. There you go. Cheers. 
Don't get that. Yeah, he's next door, I think, with mum. Your mum? Here. Yeah, she's having a great time. <coughs> what about Duncan? She's not cramping his style, is she? Hardly. <laughs> you know, he's unbelievable. He was saying this is a great place to pop to. Right? <laughs> Loads of girls experimenting with their shit. <laughs> their um. Yeah. You know, nothing important. He was just, he was just joking. No, no, know. tell me. I want to hear what he said. Uh, honestly, you know, nothing. Nothing. Uh, I'm gonna go look for him. Yeah. He looked nice. I'm the nose in the loo, I think. That's brave of him. <laughs> <laughs> so I might look at this. Let's go. Now I want to talk to my wife. Come on, you're just going to make a scene. It's got nothing to do with you. Okay. You're on your own. Change your mind. No, I want a word with you. Somewhere more private. Uh, let me introduce you to Sarah. Sarah, this is my husband, Chris. What is all this? Get your bag. I'm taking you home. No, you're not. Annie, I'm not in the mood. A big thing for a pair to cover terms with. I don't see why. <laughs> it is a possibility, you know, that one of your kids might turn out to be... Gay. The word's gay, Dad. <sighs> Look, I know it shouldn't be a big thing when it happens, but it's still a shock. I mean, you can't help wondering if, 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 if you've gone wrong somewhere. Oh. I'm not doing very well here, am I? Look, I just want you to be happy. And the life you've chosen, well, it's not going to be easy. Yeah, I'm doing very well, thank you. Yeah, and what about kids? What about them? Well, don't you want any? Look, just because I'm gay doesn't mean I can't have children. You know what I mean. Yes, but I know what I'm doing, Dad, and... If you really want me to be happy, then all I need is your support. That is all I've ever wanted. And I thought I could rely on that. I know this is difficult for you. Well, I'm doing my best, love, but I can't change my beliefs overnight. Mum told me about your outburst. And it really upset me, but it's not my problem. Yeah, well, I'm sorry about that. Are you? Yeah, I was caught off guard. I, I didn't know what I was saying. Hmm. You're not the only one I've upset over this, you know. Your mother's not talking to me either. Well, you're falling out over me. Well, your parents, I keep telling you, this is a big thing for us. Yeah, but you didn't have to fall out over it. Look, all I've come here to say is... I didn't mean to be rude, and, and I apologise. I'm sorry. Me too. And what are you apologising for? I didn't mean for this to come between you and Mum. No, I, I know you didn't. Is there anything I can do? Well, as you say... It's not your problem. <laughs>